In this video, we are going to discuss the insurmountable obstacles posed by the thermosphere, more specifically, the extreme temperatures and space junk. Space technically starts at an altitude of 100 kilometers. The thermosphere extends from 90 kilometers to roughly 600 kilometers above the planet. The temperature in the thermosphere ranges from about 200 degrees Celsius to 2,000 degrees Celsius, pending altitude and solar activity. The International Space Station maintains an orbit of approximately 400 kilometers. The temperature at this elevation is roughly 1,500 degrees Celsius. Aluminum melts at 660 degrees Celsius, gold melts at 1,064 degrees Celsius, and my iPhone shuts off at 35 degrees Celsius. NASA protecting the ISS from this extreme temperature is a miracle of material science. Virgin Galactic better figure out how this miracle is performed prior to flying passengers into the furnace of the thermosphere. Space junk. Space junk is the debris orbiting the Earth. More specifically, spent boosters, spacecraft parts, dead satellites, misplaced gloves, micrometeoroids, and fragmented rock bodies. According to NASA.gov, millions of man-made debris and naturally occurring micrometeoroids orbit in and around Earth's space environment at hypervelocity speeds averaging 22,000 miles per hour. It is very unlikely that you would see space debris. Relative to a person in orbit, space debris is moving about 10 times faster than a bullet. Even small flecks of paint that have flaked off spacecraft can be hazardous. NASA's Space Shuttle Challenger was struck by flying paint several times in orbit, forcing ground staff to replace some of the spaceship's windows. A tiny paint flake blasted this hole in the SolarMax satellite retrieved in 1984 after four years in space. It had roughly six holes per square foot. According to the United States Space Surveillance Network, there are more than 21,000 objects larger than 10 centimeters orbiting the Earth which are being tracked. Objects 10 centimeters and smaller are too small to be tracked. It is estimated that there are a further 500,000 bits and pieces between 1 and 10 centimeters in size. While the particles smaller than 1 centimeter run into the many millions. NASA and Teledyne Brown Engineering provided this collision in space equivalent impacts on the ground table. A 0.3 centimeter aluminum sphere orbiting at an average 22,000 miles per hour is equivalent to a bowling ball at 60 miles per hour. Likewise, a 1 centimeter aluminum sphere is equivalent to a 400 pound safe at 60 miles per hour. Aerospace.com provides more examples. A 3 mm object has the same energy as a bullet. A 1 cm object has energy similar to a falling anvil. A 5 cm object has energy of a 16.5 ton bus. And a 10 cm aluminum sphere has the same kinetic energy as a large bomb comprised of 662 pounds of TNT. These example equivalencies are on the conservative side as they are based on the velocity of the debris and assume a collision with a stationary object. The ISS has a velocity of roughly 17,500 miles per hour, and in a head-on collision, the impact velocity rate would need to be doubled. It takes the ISS roughly 90 minutes to orbit the Earth, and on average it takes space junk 70 minutes to complete an orbit. These relatively short orbit durations significantly increase the chances of collision. Construction on the space station started in 1998 and has been permanently manned since 2000 without a single collision incident. To summarize space junk, there exists the equivalent of over half a million bombs and buses in addition to millions of safes, bowling balls, anvils, and bullets whizzing around space in unknown directions and altitudes. These objects at large are threatening, at the very least, to blow holes into the space station, exposing the astronauts to 1500 degrees Celsius temperatures in the vacuum of space, and at the very most, exploding the space station into oblivion. 
The astronauts on the ISS must be white knuckling the stabilization handlebars as they nervously check and double check life support systems, inspecting all hermetical seals ad nauseum to ensure no loss in pressure, checking power, backup power, cooling units, oxygen levels. Focus on the required detail must prove arduous when it any moment the fragile self-contained life providing pressurized system could be impacted head-on by a 16.5 ton bus. What conclusions have we reached? From a technical perspective, specifically the empirical data published by NASA regarding pressures, temperatures, and space junk, space appears insurmountable.